and they lived happily ever after. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was a nice story. Okay, Elmo, time to close your eyes and get to sleep. Uh, Mr. Andrea Bocelli, does Elmo have to? Elmo, we have had a story, a song. It's late and you must be sleepy. Oh, Elmo isn't sleepy. Elmo wants some water and another story. Elmo's eyes are open wide awake, and Elmo doesn't feel so snorry. Time to say good night. Lie down. Here is your bell. You have had such a wonderful day. to twenty singing songs and going to the park with your friends so now won't you give me a hug it's time to say good night Elmo doesn't wanna Elmo isn't tired Elmo To worry, Elmo makes a promise. Elmo be okay. Up. Time to say good night. Relax and close your eyes. You need to get plenty of rest. You've got a full day tomorrow Playing games Dancing and saying The alphabet So now won't you give me a kiss It's time to say goodnight
Good night, Bert. Boy, look at that moon. Isn't that pretty? Do you ever think you might like to visit the moon? Well, I did. Well, I'd like to visit the moon On a rocket ship high in the air Yes, I'd like to visit the moon But I don't think I'd like to live there Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on the moon I'd like to travel under the sea I could meet all the fish everywhere Yes, I'd travel under the sea But I don't think I'd like to live there I might stay for a day there if I had my wish But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish and an oyster and clam aren't real family So I don't want to live in the sea I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar Go back in time and meet a dinosaur There's so many strange places I'd like to be But none of them permanently So if I should visit the moon well, I'll dance on a moonbeam and then I will make a wish on a star And I'll wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I may go, I'll be coming home soon Cause I don't want to live on the moon No, I don't want to live on the moon
Let's flap our wings and fly together, little butterfly friend. Flutter through the sky together, little butterfly friend. We can fly from here to there. We can stop and smell a rose. We can fly. Sometimes at night, when I look up high, I see a falling star in the sky, and I wonder how, and I wonder why. What makes a falling star go by? Why does it fall, and where does it go? And how does it make that glittery glow? I'm gonna find out, cause I want to know, and I wonder, I wonder. Sometimes I watch a bumblebee fly From rose to rose on a day in July And I wonder how and I wonder why What makes a bumblebee go by? How does he fly all covered in fuzz? And why does he make that buzz that he does? I'm sure it's more than just because And I wonder I wonder, how does a bunny hop, hop, hop? And what makes popcorn pop, pop, pop? Why does the rain fall drop by drop? And the lightning always come before the thunder. I wonder, do you ever wonder as you walk along, what makes a tiny monsters went to bed and slept peacefully knowing that the big zucchini was gone forever. The end. <sighs> Wasn't that a good story? Now it's time for you babies to go to bed. Oh no, I'm not tired yet. I want to stay up and never go to sleep. <laughs> what shall we do with these children, Harry? 
Well, maybe we should sing him a lullaby. Good idea. <laughs> Time for bed, baby monster. Monster, bedtime is near. Rest your horns on the pillow till morning. Daddy is here. Time for bed, baby monster. Curl right up on your bed. Close your eyes while Aunt Sharma deals. Then sing your head. Let your fairy body rest. Dream of what you love the best. Things that baby monsters do. Saying boo! Don't be scared, baby monster. Daddy won't let you cry. I'll just stay here and sing you a, a sweet, sweet monster. Monster Lullaby really works. <laughs> Elmo can just imagine. If Elmo had a dinosaur, Elmo'd walk him every day so he get dino exercise and lots and lots of dino play. Sleep, Bert. Oh, Ernie, why? Well, I don't know, Bert. I, uh, I'm afraid. I think, Bert. Well, what are you afraid of, Ernie? Oh, you know, uh, like dark shadows and spooky things and monsters. Oh, Ernie. <laughs> now listen. You know, I mean, you know Grover and, and Cookie and and Harry and all, yeah. you know, all those guys are your friends and they're monsters. Well, that's true, Bert. But I don't mean monsters like that. I mean like spooky, scary monsters that go. Wubba wubba. Wubba wubba. No, don't, don't, don't say that, Bert. You scare me. Ernie, get in the bed. Get in the bed. Okay, Bert. Get in the bed. Okay, now listen, Ernie. Listen, you are imagining all those scary things in your mind. Really? Yes. But, but you know, you can imagine nice things and good things, too. Yeah? Yeah, like, um, well, what, what do you like? Well, I, I, I like uh, uh, big balloons. Oh, good, good, good. Big balloons, that's mm -hmm. nice. Um, what else do you like? Let's see, I like uh, small balloons. Small balloons, good, mm -hmm. okay. So you like big balloons mm -hmm. and small balloons. Mm -hmm. Now, there must be something else you like, though. Oh, well, there is, Bert. There is something else I like. Oh, good, what, what, what? Medium-sized balloons. Okay, we've established you like balloons. I like balloons. So, um, so Im imagine balloons. Well, gee, I, I tried that, Bert, but, but it's hard. Well, 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 do what I do. Mm -hmm. Here's what I do. I'll sing mm -hmm. this to you. Okay. Here in the middle of imagination, 
right in the middle of my head. I close my eyes and my room's not my room. And my bed isn't really my bed. You see, I look inside and discover things that are sometimes strange and new. And the most remarkable thoughts I think have a way of being true. Here in the middle of imagination, right in the middle of my mind, I close my eyes and the night isn't dark and the things that I lose I find. Time stands still and the night is clear and the wind is warm and fair. And the nicest place is the middle of imagination when I'm there. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer being red Or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that It's not that easy being green It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things and people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky but green's the color of spring and green can be cool and friendly like and green could be big like an ocean, or important, like a mountain, or tall like a tree. When green is all there is to be, it could make you wonder why, but why wonder, why wonder? I'm green, and it'll do fine, and it's beautiful. And I think it's what I want to be. When I'm counting with you, I'm happier than ever. Number sounds so much better. Here is what we'll do Come on, let's count Two, two One, two of birds <laughs> One, two heads all together Come on, let's count to two Of your shoe, one, two, apples. This one's for you. When I'm counting with you, I'm happier than ever. Numbers sound so much better. Now let's count me and you. Sky sure looks beautiful tonight, Mr. Bennett. Oh, it sure does, Big Bird. 
All the twinkling stars and that wonderful moon. Yeah, and just think, Slimy flew all the way to the moon in his spaceship. He must be a very brave worm. Oh, he sure is. To go off chasing moonbeams, a worm needs to be nervy. He needs guts and stickability. When things go topsy-turvy To embark on a worm on a mission A worm really needs the right stuff Like a powerful rocket ignition Or some timely assistance from snuff Slimey to the moon he wants to wriggle amongst the stars Let him crawl through mud and muck On Jupiter or Mars To other worlds Let him fly To other worlds Send him winging Slimy to the moon And when this worm arrives You'll find He'll take a leap That's small for him But huge for all worm kind To other worlds he will soar to other worlds And then home to us once more Night, Bert. Hmm. Boy, look at that moon. Isn't that pretty? Did you ever think you might like to visit the moon? Well, I did. Well, I'd like to visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air. Yes, I'd like to visit the moon, but I don't think I'd like to live there. Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above, I would miss all the places and people I love. So although I might like it for one afternoon, I don't want to live on the moon. I'd like to travel under the sea. I could meet all the fish everywhere. Yes, I'd travel under the sea. But I don't think I'd like to live there. I might stay for a day there if I had my wish. But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish. And an oyster and clam aren't real family. So I don't want to live in the sea. I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar. Go back in time and meet a dinosaur. There's so many strange places I'd like to be, but none of them permanently. So if I should visit the moon, well, I'll dance on a moonbeam and then I will make a wish on a star And I'll wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I may go, I'll be coming home soon Cause I don't want to live on the moon No, I don't want to live on the moon
You want to hear another bedtime story? Okay. Once upon a time... There was a monster who couldn't fall asleep. Hello, Elmo. Oh, it's Elmo's friend, Mr. Andy. Hi, Mr. Andy. Oh, say hi, baby David. Isn't it time for bed, Elmo? Yeah, it's Elmo's bedtime, but, but, but Elmo is having trouble falling asleep. Elmo wants to play. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to go to sleep when we still want to play and have a lot of energy in our bodies. So, how about we do a fun monster meditation, Elmo, to calm down for bed? A monster meditation? It's an activity to help you get ready for bed. Yeah! Oh, you and baby David can follow along too. So let's begin with some soothing belly breaths. Take a slow, deep breath in. And now slowly breathe out. Very good. Let's do that one more time together. So slow, deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. Good work, baby David. Let's play goodnight body. So we're going to start at our feet and say goodnight to each body part. <laughs> Elmo's going to say goodnight to his body? That's right. And we're going to wiggle each part as we say goodnight and then relax it. Want to try it together? Yeah! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! <laughs> Great wiggling, Elmo. We'll do this through the whole body. Here we go. Okay. Good night, feet. Very good. Now relax your feet. And let's move to your legs. Good night, legs. Now relax your legs. What body part comes next, Elmo? Good night, bottom. <laughs> good night, tummy. Good night, shoulders. <sighs> good night, arms. Are you starting to feel relaxed? Yeah, Elmo feels really relaxed. <sighs> good night, hands. You did it, Elmo. Now, let's end with one more deep breath. Slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out. Great work. Are you feeling sleepy, Elmo? Elmo? Oh, good night, Elmo. Sweet dreams. And good night, baby David. Bob! Oh, Bob. hi, Bob. Elmo. Bob. Hi, what uh -oh. you got there? Oh, well, Elmo borrowed this really cool book from the library, and, um, well, Elmo was wondering if maybe Bob could read it to Elmo. Oh, oh please, sure, please, please. sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's called... Good night, numbers, Elmo. I, I think it's a I think it's a bedtime story, and it's still daylight. See, the sun's still out. Oh, well, that's okay, Bob. Oh, Elmo's just so excited about learning about numbers that Elmo doesn't want to wait until bedtime. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's called Good Night Numbers, written by Danica McKellar, and illustrated by Alicia Padron. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Here we go. Okay. One. Good night, one fork. Good night, one spoon. Good night, one bowl. I'll see you soon. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the oh, phone. What? what? <laughs> Saying good night to a fork, a bowl, and a spoon? I almost never heard of anything so silly. I haven't either. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> good night, spoon. Huh. Okay. That is silly. <laughs> that is crazy. Two. Uh -huh. Good night, two hands. Good night, two feet. Good night, two ears. So small and sweet. <laughs> oh, Emma? Yeah? Can you find two of anything else here? Um, oh, oh, there are one, two kittens playing. Right. Good counting. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Three. Good night, three wheels. Good night, three cans. Good night, all trucks <laughs> and pots and pans. Oh, 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 look, Bob. There are threes all over this page. Yeah. One, two, three trucks. Mm -hmm. One, two, three wheels on a tricycle. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three pillows. Wow. That is so cool. You're very, very good at this. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Four. 
Good night, four paws. Good night, kitty cat. <laughs> Good night, four froggies on the bathroom mat. certainly are. Four froggies. What yep. do you know about that? Five. Good night, five points. Good night, little star. Good night, five splashes. <laughs> they go really far. <laughs> Can you find five of anything else here, Elmo? Um, oh, yeah. Elmo sees one, two, three, four, five balls. Mm -hmm. and You're sharp today. Oh, oh thank you, Bob. Oh, not at all. <laughs> six. Good night, six snaps. Good night, Mr. Peach. <laughs> Good night, six blocks with six sides each. <laughs> Elmo likes Mr. Peach with his funny top hat. I know, that is funny, isn't Why, it? thank Mr. you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank Mr. You, Peach, Mr. Thank Peach. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, I, Mr. Peach is something else. Yeah, who knew? Yeah. Seven. Good night, seven days. Good night, whole week. Good night, seven teeth. So clean they squeak. Oh, 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 Bob, every night before Elmo goes to bed, Elmo brushes his teeth. See? Ah. That's a great idea. Let me see. Oh, squeaky clean. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Eight. Good night, eight arms. Good night, tall vine. Good night, eight sides on the red stop sign. <laughs> oh, look, an octopus driving a car. <laughs> now, now that's really silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, do you know how many tentacles an octopus has? Oh, like uh, 49. Or... No, 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 no. Count, come on, count oh, oh, them. Okay, one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Absolutely, Yay! eight tentacles. Good county again. Yeah. You're getting better and better. Ow. <laughs> nine. Good night, nine butterflies. Good night, nine bars. Good night to the moon and countless stars. <laughs> oh. Are you getting sleepy? A little bit. Okay, yeah. hang on. We're almost at the end of the okay. book. Okay. Okay. Ten. Good night, ten fingers. Good night, ten toes. Good night to the world. And everyone knows numbers are around us, like really good friends. Yeah. Good night to all the numbers. Good night and the end. <laughs> Did you like the story, Elmo? Oh, Elmo loved it, Bob. Me too. You know, all this counting, oh, he's making Elmo really sleepy. Yeah. Oh, gonna go take a nap. <laughs> it's probably a very good idea. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Anytime. Bye-bye, Elmo. You know, I love reading to Elmo, and, and this is a terrific book, but uh, it does make you a little bit sleepy. Slumber party! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, oh slumber. Oh. 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 Oh.